Hey, Orange One here, and uh, we're starting out from like not scratch because I mean we do have like over a million, um, but we're we're hurting, man. We've got like pretty much no supplies, um, and yeah, we're we're by ourselves. All of our companions are off other places, but we do we did manage to get to friendly territory in here, so we are gonna be able to start getting. Uh, ourselves picked back up a little bit um it looks like we actually do have some of our goods still um huh we didn't lose everything everything we've lost pretty much everything though it looks like yeah that's a shame uh no maybe i should not be wasting my my gold then they've got uh that i'll take your grain and I'll give you that. That sounds good to me. Yeah, I mean, this is actually our own fief here. So if we can get to there, then we should actually be okay. Um, I just need to make sure we don't get just railroaded by um, someone. Okay, Rosia. I bet there's other people as well. Nope, just Rosia. Okay. Well, why don't you join me? We'll get you your own party soon enough. But for now, we just need to recover. Oh man. And recover. Recovering is going to take a while from this. Uh, how many people do we have? Got seven. So we want at least seven horses. And I, these don't count as horses. Those count as just like for like carrying stuff. We'll, we'll get a few extras just in case, you know. Because it's not going to be long before we actually have more recruits. And that's basically gonna be what I'm doing probably for the next while is just getting these these guys in our party. Um, ooh, that green's actually pretty decently priced. I don't want to buy too much though because it will slow me down. Is the problem? And we've got a herd right now, so we've got more horses than people. Essentially, is what that means. Um, I, there's a reason I'm going back here, and that's that we haven't gotten the tavern mercenaries. And you know, I think. Part of me wants to get involved in the war, but I'm kind of thinking roleplay wise that Verdan, he just escaped like and well not escaped, he bribed his way out. He spent like, you know, a ton of money to get out. But actually right now, I'm just curious, is our is our wife still uh off with those people? Is she still a prisoner? Uh no, it says she's staying at Sano Sanopa. Uh, Veron, Thraste, Defending Diathma. Oh, really? Okay. Legata. Okay, I think these guys are all... Or these two are prisoners still. So, Thorte and Veron. I think those are actually just people that are... Um, whatchamacallit? Uh, Manan, why don't you come with us? Those are um, people that are actually in charge of towns. Those um, companions. Man, look at how much money we make. And that's the one nice thing about having our party just get obliterated is that we uh, we make a fair amount of profit. Right. Um, so we have... Oh, wow. They got... Did I do that? I can't remember if I did that. Legata is over here. Um, Naska, Vostrum, Oros. I bet they take, like, Kaphon soon. But I want to get to Phaikaon if I can, I think. Um, because we should be able to get some a good amount of recruits from them there. And we could also try going up to Diathma. Diathma is kind of um, has been periodically a place that I've owned. I don't know. Did I end up building relations with people though? Are we friendly with them? Oros, your army? Yeah. Looking real cool over there. Oh, a little bug in the time there. Oh, we, could, we could go after some sea raiders. I mean, nah. Our units are so trash that we'd actually probably lose. <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> uh, Sure, we'll take some more Sumter horses. I'll take a few more of these guys as well. I'll take all of them. Who am I kidding? Yeah, the herd doesn't really slow you down very much at all. 
I'd rather have more horses than uh, not enough. Oh, what's this? Uh, there's 300 of them there. Uh, Komar, are you really trying to attack that? Or, like, what's the plan here? Because you're not going to be able to defeat that. And part of me wants to get in there and get in the walls, but we're not going to be able to do it. I think we could tell Komar to join up with our party if we walk up to him. And it's a shame we're about to lose this city, but I don't think there's really much that I can do about it, unfortunately. Um, besides just not get trapped, you know? Yeah, Komar, you probably want to get out of here. That's all I'm saying. Nope, I, I want to talk to him right there. Yeah. Um, no, I can't actually just tell him to join my army. Oh, is it because I don't actually have an army started? Well, join my army. <laughs> oh, well, uh, he actually might be able... He will at least be able to... I don't think we'll be able to get in there and f stop them from taking the city. Which is a shame, because it's so close. Like, seriously. It's crazy close. But we should be able to crush these guys. At the very least, we'll get a little revenge. Right? Oh, there's ten of them left. I'm afraid to walk up to this. Um, I'm just gonna do just a quick little um, save, just because I don't want to like walk up and get trapped, because that's that'd be just dumb if that was the case. Yeah, see, I don't want to surrender. Are you kidding me? No, I'm waiting for the other lord. See, that's that's why I didn't actually do that, because um, I had a sneaking suspicion that it was gonna do that. Okay, well, we'll just load it back up. It should just take a second because we've got such a good processor. And graphics card and all that. And it's really the processor when it's doing this. Okay, um, sure, let's wait a little bit longer. Oh, see, now he's gonna jump me. Again, I'm not gonna let that happen because in reality, in reality, I wouldn't just like stand there as they come charging over to me. I'm, I would run if we don't have the support of the 400 stack over there. I was just trying to see if we could um, get involved with them before. No. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry. This is... I'm not doing that. If there's any way for me to get away, um, getting further away from them, then I will. Because that's absurd that it walked me towards them when we were trying to get away. Are you kidding me? It says you're raiding, but you're about to maybe fight them. Yeah, you're about to fight them. This this should be this should be good. We'll get some revenge. I'll let them engage though, because they really I think you're gonna catch them, right? 3.5. Actually, no, they they uh, would not catch them. Are there any? There's no troops. Okay, well, can I? talk to them and do we get the militia as well I bet we get the militia on our side uh, can I actually turn one of you no it doesn't look like it's gonna happen if you don't get that one it's pretty unlikely that you'll get it I basically need to get like a critical success on yeah no it's not gonna happen okay well I tried I tried real hard Okay, well. You just, you guys, I don't know if it was this, was it this army that defeated me? I feel like it might be because they're in the right area. If it is, we're about to get a lot of prisoners. Dismount! Oh, no, not, I, I did not mean to press that. Mount, horses! Mount your horses if you have them. Don't dismount horses. Yeah! Take over command! Yeah, I just wanted that. That's all I wanted, was you guys to just take orders from your commanders. Man, they have a ton of infantry here. There's like, seriously, a crazy amount of infantry right there. I think they're like mostly recruits. Yeah, they actually had some Asari unit in there. Huh. Are they retreating, or is that me? I, I think we're gonna win. 
<laughs> Judging by the green to red ratio. Yeah, you're... Oh, yeah. <laughs> that seemed a little delayed there. Come on. They do have a fair amount of actual horsemen right now. More than I anticipated having here. Um... Come on. There we go. The brigands. Where's the other brigand? Ah. I thought they said they were gonna keep religion out, Banner Lord Man. <laughs> I did see that there. Apparently, Banner Lord used to have religion built into a lot more, which would have been really cool. I always enjoyed that aspect of the, um, like civilization games, of like having the different conversions and you know, all of that, and investing like in the religious conversion. You know, because that's like totally what they did back then. It was. It was a way to control uh, the place that you took over, you know? If you can convince them that you're brothers in your religion, it doesn't matter that you you conquered them. You brought them to God, right? Which has always been a kind of an interesting thing with, for me, thinking about the United States and, like, African-American religion dynamics, you know? Because it's like, wait, but, like, this is the God of, like, the people who've, like, enslaved you, like... I, I mean, I, I also understand it's like a survival mechanism of a lot of traditions, and that's totally valid and good. It's just kind of weird to me, you know, just kind of thinking about it. It's just like, oh my gosh, like your ancestors might be horrified to hear some of this, you know? Um, I think it might be worthwhile to hang out in here in the city and just build up some relations and get access to those super troopers that were in the city. Did they actually... Wait, hold on. This is our city. Did they break off from the siege because of that 400 stack coming their way? I think they did. That's kind of cool. Um, Hold on. You know what? I need the relationship. Sure. I will help you with your gang warfare. I might even just send a companion to do it. I don't know. Um, I don't think I actually have a companion in my party, though. Oh, actually, I could leave 15 or so good men. Nah. I think I, I, I kind of want to do the combat, and I want to kind of hang around here anyways for a few days just to build that relation with people. Also, they've been sieged, so nah, can't really. Can't make much profit off of this. Oh, it's because actually I would have made a profit. It's just because I loaded up from, uh, you know, all of those shenanigans that they had going on here. Um, also, I'm just curious, how is this place as a, um, Who are you? You're a noblewoman. You're a governor. Oh, so this is not my place anymore. Someone else got it. Governed by Krotor and Amir. Yeah, okay, so. You got my city there, man. Um. Well, we did. S we're doing this quest, so we're, we'll hang around anyways. Might as well get some experience, right? And get some thugs whatnot um or did i already i already did the thugs this day right look at that look at that red dress that really catches the eye um cool we'll just wait yeah i think the happier these people are and our troops are actually contributing to the security of this place uh the garrison's kind of not great their food is actually really low that's causing a lot of problems for them, is actually their food. Um, maybe I should do a little trading then, of our food. I'll give you a little food. Actually, yeah, we'll do we'll do that. And I'm just gonna go over here and deliver the fish that this place has. 
because they actually have i believe yeah tons of fish and butter and whatnot so yeah, okay never mind um reset i think we really want the fish and we'll do that all the way up to our maximum capacity which is that pretty much yeah no we're now we're at our max uh put one of the grains back yep Ooh, looks good to me. Yeah, we're gonna have to build up our army of horses again. Like, we seriously had an insane amount of horses. I don't know if you were keeping track, but we had like hundreds of horses and they're all gone now. And that is, to me, honestly, just as crushing as the loss of men. <laughs> um, Yeah, we're losing money on this big time. But I think that they kind of need the food. Um... I mean, this should jump up, right? Now. I could be wrong, though. Maybe I'm... I'm I, I think I'm wrong. It says meat, grain, grapes. Yeah, I'm not sure what that really means for me. Um, oh yeah, you escaped and you can join me now. Nice. And then we'll go back and do, do what we do. Olin, didn't I just tell you to join my party? I'm pretty sure I just told you to join the party. Yeah. She's in the party. She's just like still hanging out on the bar, I guess, getting one more drink before she gets on the road. Oh, there's no recruits here. Well, never mind then. If there's no recruits here, I'm getting out of here. Um, let's try and get back to San Opa. And if we can stop by these uh, places and get recruits, that'd be great. But I'm pretty sure that all the other local lords have been doing the same thing. Just like loading up on recruits, yeah. Oh wait, no, what am I doing? Jerichos needs some grain. How much grain do you need? I might have it already. Uh... Wait, hold on. How much do they need? I'm kind of... It, it was a little bit confusing. I don't have... I need 55. Okay, well, I'll get you 55. I definitely can can find you 55 things of grain. Is there any... Any... I mean, probably not any grain being produced in any of these villages, right? Eh. Aoria. How, how long do I have for this other quest? Four days. Let's go to Aoria. We wanted the recruits anyways. We'll go, we'll stop off here and we'll let our companion add to their party. You know how they, they can do that. And we already have like nearly a hundred. I mean, they're trash units, but the fact that we've already gotten that many is is good. Uh, Sacred Majesty, uh, he, he would get a lot of influence to do that. Um, I don't really want to make anyone mad, so. We'll go with what the majority wants. I guess we have religion in the game, kind of. Uh, what was I doing? I was going here, right? I need to just also clear up this. I'm sorry, I, I'm really bad about that. Uh, there is an army there. Vargos, which is kind of close to me, and that's also kind of close to me. Where am I at? Uh, here. Okay. So let's go in here. We'll get those recruits and go to area, get the grain. I think we actually need to get some more horses as well. Man, they really have cleared out the units of this whole area. It's kind of cool. I really do like how that happens, how there's like literally a shortage of men in the war zones. You know, like I was talking with my brother and he was saying like, Oh, like, Bannerlord doesn't need to simulate all this stuff. There's, like, um, he was talking about Star Sector, which is a great game. Don't get me wrong. I love that game, too. I've uh, played it on the channel. And he's also played it on his channel as well. Uh, Windslayer is his name. If you haven't checked that out already, go ahead and do it. Um, but anyways, we were talking about this, and he was saying that it's so complicated, and it simulates all the stuff that doesn't really need to be simulated. I mean... 
for example, you could say that about, actually, I'm just going to load up as much as I can on grain. Yeah, we'll, we'll do something like that. Um, and then we'll go over here as well. I mean, they actually, I, it's more for the recruits than the grain right now. And we need to get back to that city now. Okay. I might actually regret buying so much of this. Uh... Oh, actually, now my capacity is exceeded. Uh, go ahead, drop off any of this junk that we've been collecting. No, I still can't take it all. Okay. Never mind. You guys can have some of your grain back. There we go. Um, sure. I, I honestly just want the goods. And then we'll start making our way back. And there's horses here, which I think I'm starting to get into the need of. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, um, while I'm jumping back in the saddle again in terms of getting an army, I was thinking about this in terms of, um, Redan. And he probably just wants to um, retire from the Asari war. Oh, look at this. Can I help out in that? Nah. I mean, I mean, I technically can. I'm going to lose more troops than it's worth. So, sorry. You can finish them. You, you had them done anyways. Oh, look. There's even all these guys. Yeah, I think that the Asari here are totally crushing it. Um, which is great. Who was it? It was you, right? So he's got an available quest and available issue. Is that... I, I'm kind of confused, but that must be, like, just this, right? Or does he have a second quest? Yeah, no, it was just the issue. Uh, and then what's this guy? Deliver her to Poros. Um, it's actually kind of tempting, because I wanted to go to Poros anyways. We'll wait for now. Just because we have such good relations with these lords, we might be able to get units, but never mind. They've all they're all out of here. Um at least the ones from the 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 lords, you know. Um I think Yeah, I think that we're ready to do this. I mean I'm fully healed, I've got my companions with me. So they should be ready to roll in with some pretty decent gear too. Now I haven't done this quest in this city and I have had issues before. Oh, I've got archers with me right now. I'm on horseback. I'm not going to get off horseback. I'm actually better in melee like this. Yeah, they're kind of doing the whole like gang thing. Is it that dude? Yeah, iron school. <laughs> You're gonna double what she's paying me. Yeah, we need to just take you out. Oh, oh. Yeah, that that was not too bad. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, we've got some good units now, so we can actually do that quest reliably. Oh, they've got, like, that blank flag for the gangs. The gangs need, like, gang signs, right? Come on. You're welcome. Oh, increase by 11. You better have some recruits for me, Crushfinger. No. Uh. They're killing me. Uh, can I do that trade of that grain? I bought all that grain at such a nice price. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I think that we're making a profit technically there. Not a lot. Uh, how are we doing horses-wise? Yeah, a few more. We'll just get some of those. And we're, we already made like 10k, and I, I've been like very aggressively buying things, you know? Uh... But yeah, we've kind of ran out of the... We've kind of drained all the units out of this whole area. So I think we kind of need to move on. It's kind of like we're like a bacteria, like vying for like nutrients, you know? Yeah, I was thinking about that. And it's kind of funny how like 
you know, uh, how much? Do, yeah, we could really make you like us a whole lot. We should do that. It's kind of interesting how like we as intelligent creatures have um, non-intelligent things like cells and organs working for us, right? But then we're working for something that I would argue is not an intelligent life form, like human societies, honestly. Not very intelligent, <laughs> you know? Uh, this was, was this a cow town? What was this town? Cow. Yeah, so it's, uh, we'll buy some cows here, sure. That's a lot of money to be spending on cows. <laughs> uh, Rote is not one of ours. Amitasis is, though. I'm going to make my way towards there. Or we had that one quest that was going to Poros. Poros is so far, man. If we could take that herd to Poros, though, we should get a nice reward. I don't want to be locked down to go to Poros, actually. Kind of like having some options. How fast are they going? 4.8. Let's go catch them. They'll give us some much needed experience. And we actually are starting to get a size of an army where um, I'd be willing to... maybe fight other lords a little bit. I mean, once we have them experienced and, and whatnot. I, come on, we can catch that. We are faster than you. Maybe you'll join me. Oh, if I could get these sea raiders to join me, I would be so happy. They won't actually do it. Nah. I could dream, though. Don't take that from me. My boy-like wonder. Take ya. Sergeants take ya. <laughs> Oh man, the little things. Oh, so I don't know if you guys are interested in checking out the Cataclysm um, sh uh, Let's Play that I got going on, but I saw some pretty crazy things happen in that. Okay, they are throwing some nasty javelins at me. I just kind of wanted to briefly just highlight just the insanity that that game has in it, um, because I feel like more people need to hear about it. And if you're listening and watching, well, I know you like games. They're crazy and complicated. Um, basically, I have a character that's like a psycho ex-prison uh, convict who's in the zombie apocalypse, and it's like a sci-fi zombie apocalypse. And he's uh, really late game. Like, I've probably put like, I don't know, at least 50 hours into just this one character in this game. And it's like a roguelike, so that's pretty rare. So he's lasted a long time. Um, I am really hurt right now. I just realized that. But he's got like the uh, a minotaur. Like a straight up minotaur. He saved a cyborg from a like government lab. And... Um, okay, well it looks like the games brought me back over here. It's kind of annoying. Oh, oh no. You're sieging one of those cities, aren't you? Where are you sieging? I kind of want to just see Diathma. Yeah, I don't think that I'm going to be able to stop that this time. And it's not my city, so uh, I'm not really bothered. I might actually see about going to that, because that I don't think any of our lords have been to in a while. Oh, oh, what? What is this? Are they about to take that castle and they're about to take that city? Okay, well, maybe the Sari are not the powerhouse that I, I thought. Gauss? Who took Gauss? That was my castle. Whatever. I honestly, like, don't even follow the politics all that much anymore. Um, of the Empire. And our fief. I haven't even been keeping track of our fief. We have just so much money, like, I honestly just don't even care. Like, what's mine? Oh look, there's another lord there. Uh, can I catch them? Dude, that's kind of weird to see armor like that. Did I do that? I must have done that. Okay, they're not gonna give me any more gold, whatever. Can I catch this dude? 4.7, 4.8, yeah dude. I can catch him. I'm gonna do it. Was Gauss my castle? Gauss I thought was my castle. I could be wrong about that, though. 
Come on, let me catch this guy, please. There we go. Give me something to end the episode on. Yeah. I kind of wanted to fight you anyways. We need the experience. Our troops are like literally all like noob units. Follow your sergeants. Like look at the composition right there. There's like no shields, no armor, nothing. At least we got numbers on them though. And we got quite a good advantage in the numbers game there. I am kind of hurting myself though, so I should probably not go charging in. We'll have Komar with us. We'll stay with Komar for now. Yeah, shoot at Komar. And then I'll close the distance, you know, how we do it. Um, yeah, that cab is not not gonna be able to pull this one off, I don't think. I am not fast enough to really catch them though. Oh. Come on. There we go. Let's get behind and we'll harass. I'm a lefty, so it always throws me off which side is actually like you can't shoot. Like I know it's this side and like I instinctually like maneuver. I also drive. <laughs> I drive the horse. <laughs> kind of knowing where my blind spot is, but then like when I think about it too much, I just like totally mess it all up. It looks like they've got uh, some javelins or something there. That, that there's some guys back there trying to hit us. Oh, they're Batanians. Picked warriors and stuff. Well then, they need to go down. Uh, did I just... I think I killed one of my guys there. I might not have though. Yeah, get those easy headshots. Thank you guys. Thank you for all the experience. I mean, I could try and uh, actually recruit some of you guys. I'm gonna kill the measly, pathetic recruit recruits. And we'll see what we can do with the level 2s and 3s that we get. Okay, you guys gonna stab him? Yeah, okay, good. I don't want to do all of it myself. Oh. There we go. That was like the exact same animation that those two people just had. Okay, cool. Um, well, we're recovering. Slowly but surely. We have our wife as well. She managed to escape. I don't know how. Um, but I am glad, you know. Okay, let's see. I wonder when my kids are gonna be of age. I just like had that thought. Like when they're gonna be of age to, not to marry or anything, but to fight. How old are you? Like, I click on you here. I can't really click on you there. It's kind of weird. Can I look at you? You're five. Okay, well, our oldest is five. It's got to be a while before we have him fighting. But I don't think it's... It's got to be less time than you think. I'd be willing to bet. But god, this whole area has turned into an absolute gnarly war zone. Uh, that is just a little bit too many enemies for me. Um, I will... Oh, look. Oros has an army that might be able to... And Unquib. Okay, so they both actually could resist the... Um, the people that we're fighting decently. Sure, take these and take all these horses and take all that grain actually, take it all. Cool. Well, um, I'm glad. Defending Diathma. I think their stack was oh, oh no. Yeah, there this I don't think is gonna go well for the sorry people. So I might I might be involved in the next battles here. I might not. You don't want to go that way, Krotor. Like, honestly. I don't know why Krotor's going there. Um, Krotor, yeah, you're too small to have you join my army. And I'm too slow. I think they might be chasing us, but I think that it's just, like, coincidence that we're going the same way as them. Uh, in any case, 
I think this is a good point to end this episode at. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.